Slavering biters. Alright. Another ambulance. Come on. Nope. Wow, is that bad? <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting him to follow me around the vehicle like that. <laughs> now I am downed with a slavering biter on me. I've got a bleeding left arm, bleeding right arm, bleeding right leg. I might have lost some clothing. Might have uh, didn't drop the duffel bag yet. But I'm I'm downed at the moment. He hasn't successfully grabbed me yet that I know of. <laughs> Ouchie! Yeah, that's uh, that's a whole lot of pain, real fast. All right, so I misjudged that guy's movement. I'm gonna try to uh, actually. Let's see here. Phase door takes how long? It's gonna take me a round and a half to phase door. Might put me back in the middle of the ambulance. Hmm. I think I'd still end up in a better position. Alright, now I need to get clear enough that I can get some bandages on. I'm not in a really good position to do that with this crowd of zombies means we're gonna end up walking and bleeding <laughs> and walking and bleeding um yeah no houses nearby except for down that way which means I'd have to go back past the biter some of this stuff hasn't detected me yet fortunately Oh, do not grab me, you piece of crap. There's the biter. And he knocked me down. And I lost some stuff. The duster got destroyed. Yep. Ah, uh, we're, we're, we're screwed. We are screwed. I didn't even notice that the pain had put me back into stupid pain levels again already. And now we're down to 45 carry weight. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad, <laughs> because because I didn't notice, uh, my stamina just totally tanked <laughs> while I was trying to move around. I don't know. I think this might be it for us right here. This is there's not a there's not a lot of ways to get out of this. Hmm. I just cannot get get used to this pain change and just how seriously the pain affects you. I mean, come on. Your pain drops, which then or your pain causes your strength to drop, which then causes you to go overweight, which then massively drains your morale. So within just a couple of steps, if you don't happen to notice what's going on, you've tanked your stamina. Now that you've tanked your stamina, <laughs> you have very, very few choices. I do have some adrenaline. We just think we just found some somewhat recently, but I do have the stem pack as well. I don't know how long it takes to use, and I'm on rollerblades, and every time something taps me, I'm gonna get knocked down. And then as soon as the grab occurs, my chances of breaking the grab are gonna be pretty bad without the stems. Yeah, this is, um, this went bad real fast. All because that slavering biter actually managed to trace my scent trail down around the side of the ambulance. I thought he was going to bump into the top of the ambulance and stop. So I spent so many movement points clambering in, checking the items, and then starting to clamber out again when he met me in the doorway there and hit me like <laughs> eight times. All right, um, and I need to get somewhere. The other problem is going to be as soon as I use the adrenaline or the stim, I got a limited amount of time before I crash, which will make things even worse. 
So I gotta get to a safe-ish place, preferably a basement, that I can use my magic to clear. So, he's stepped one space into the ambulance. I think my best bet is still to go straight south, sidle over to the left one, and sprint south, assuming I get the adrenaline off and I don't get grabbed or knocked down. It's all going to come down to the timing of these guys, and if they get a grab on me. Spells aren't going to help in time. Phase door could put me into a worse position this time. It was good that it got me out of the ambulance. Had I noticed my pain problem and what my strength was, we would have been a little better off. Hmm. And that slavering bite is, bite is nasty. Um, actually, I don't think I have the injector. This is just the module, right? Yeah, this is just the module. I don't have the injector for this, so I can't use this. I gotta have a delivery system for it. Alright, so my adrenaline is pretty much, I think, my only option. I've got to adrenaline. Pray I don't get grabbed before that slavering biter wanders over and joins the, uh, the kill of warm party. I don't see anything else I can do right now. Backpack, one of them's about to go. That's not a big deal. I got plenty of volume for that. If the duffel bag and the backpack goes, then we're going to start shedding items. Which I'm less concerned about. I can always come back. Um, well, the problem is getting into the woods without something being chasing me. I don't need to go into the woods if nothing's chasing me. So it's kind of a situation where... If I could get there successfully, it would already wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> so, we'll see. We're definitely heading to this house, and then if necessary, that house, and then I'll have to make a decision what to do from there. Oh, I know I'm overweight. Uh, there's not a lot I can do about it. When I hit the stim, or the adrenaline, my strength is going to go up, and I'm just hoping it's going to go up high enough that uh, I'm not under the weight capacity again. If I am, I'll have to shed some items. So, it's all going to come down to first adrenaline, see what my strength and weight situation is, see if I get grabbed. So, let's do it. Syringe of adrenaline. I got no other real choice here. Strength went to five. That's not nearly enough. We're still uh, almost 20 pounds behind. Let's see. I go there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still going to end up having to drop two or three items. That's 13, 14 pounds right there. Still not enough. Yeah, it's going to be three items, which is going to take time. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Possibility. Gambling hall. Could be zombies in there. My luck. I'll walk. I'll step to the wall, which in rollerblades, I'm not going to be able to do successfully. I'm also about to get poisoned. So we're going to have a uh, perfect storm of negative effects here pretty quick. We're going to have the pain, we're going to have the bleed, we're going to have the poison. Poison's going to drop my stats again. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I'm getting out of this one. My speed is high enough, I might get near the wall. <laughs> Oh, man. What a big pile of suck. Well, the, the problem is dropping a bunch takes time. Takes action points. So I have to decide, do I try to push it with the uh, low 
stamina and, s and w the extra weight. I need to get two steps to the southwest to get adjacent to that wall. Technically, I don't need to be adjacent. I could get lucky and it could put me on the interior. But being next to it would definitely be better. I've got speed just because of the adrenaline. But it's going to cost me so many points to move. It's going to cost like 200 some points to move, I think, or more on the rollerblades. Well, unfortunately, I've got too much. Duffel bag would only drop me to 34. I'd still be under my volume limit. <laughs> so the duffel bag's not actually going to drop anything currently. If I drop the duffel bag, there'd actually be no change. I would drop from 64 capacity down to, what, 24 capacity? So I'd be right close, but uh, just the duffel bag wouldn't actually do it. Any other time that would probably work, but I was so loaded up on uh, backpacks that I've got the duffel bag covered <laughs> for, for, for weight and volume. So I can't just do an emergency duffel drop to uh, shed a bunch of weight. Otherwise, I would probably give it a try. I don't know. This one's gonna be this one's gonna be rough. I don't have a single item I can drop. It's guaranteed I have to drop the top three items to get close. The top two to get within range where I wouldn't be just massively sucking my stamina. Uh, you don't want to be able to set certain items in certain bags. That'd be a nightmare of uh, micromanagement to try to deal with and additional interface key presses. Sounds good in theory. I think it would be absolutely nightmare in, pro in process. Um, I'm just, I, I don't know. I do knew I've got just enough speed where I can get the phase door off before they get to me. Assuming this isn't a carryover round and I've lost some points already. But I can't think of too many positions it would put me in that would be beneficial. Anything north would be bad. I'll get instant poisoned. East or southeast is bad. East doesn't really help me any. It puts me farther from the wall. So the, the I think the bulk of where it could put me is going to be bad. There's about a 50-50 chance of me putting myself in a worse position with the phase door currently. Man, that guy messed me up fast. Um, with the speed that I've got, oh, it's just too heavy. I gotta drop something. All right, map note stuff on ground. I gotta try to drop. So we're gonna drop the H and K. All right, so Slavering Biter stepped out. The Poison Guy stepped down. We did get knocked down, so it's going to take me a round to get up. He's going to hit me again. And if a grab goes off, just wave goodnight. Didn't get the grab off. Poison's about to fire off. Now I might actually have to risk the uh, the phase door <laughs> just to pray that it puts me a better distance away from the uh, poison guy. Trust to luck, phase door, pray it puts me over here, phase door again and get in the building. As soon as I phase door, well, yeah, it's just going to be bad. <laughs> Just gonna be bad. I was hoping that the uh, slavering biter would wander into the ambulance, not step back out again. Middle of the ambulance, that'd be pretty bad. <laughs> I don't know though, there's not too many choices at this point. So we're now uh, 10 pounds over. 
So I'd still not quite be even up, even if I dropped two more items, which would be two more hits, plus I'd instantly get poisoned. I gotta do it now. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Alright, phase door to the rescue? Not exactly. <laughs> sort of better, but that biter is going to be pretty damn quick. I can't complain too much. And at least it put me on the uh, bad terrain, but I did get poisoned. Oh, you got to be kidding me. The poison went off before the spell went off. You piece of crap. <laughs> now I'm back down to 40 pounds overweight. Ah, oh, son of a... <laughs> oh, man. If we hadn't gotten poisoned a second time, we might have had a shot. But now... I, I just don't see it happening now. Not with the slavering biter right there. I'm going to have to do it again and pray it doesn't throw, throw me north. Anything south, even inside the ambulance over here would be okay, because he'd have to come through the door to get me. So, anything not this direction. <laughs> Just don't send me this direction. So where do you think it's going to be? Right here? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm massively overweight again. I can't, I can't really rely on anything else. So, here we go. Phase door number two. Yep. <laughs> and I think I am in the cloud. Uh, no, it doesn't say anything about the cloud. So we're just outside the cloud. But yeah, that's that's still not a good position. We're still bleeding from all the uh, all the positions. The cloud is blocking that direction. Let's try moving there. Oh. Now I can't get far enough south to get out of the range of the biter but if I wait I'm gonna get knocked down again we're down to 2900 mana ideally I'd like the biter to be next to me so if I do go south I go far enough south to make an actual difference but I don't think I can afford to try to step how much did that last one well it says it cost me 55 that doesn't sound right. Um, I think even in run mode, that's going to cost me too much. All right, we're going to go run mode. I'm going to try to step to that space. And if we're still alive at the end of it, not knock down and not any of that other nonsense, I'm going to try to phase again. All right. We're actually moving faster than I thought. Our speed is 81. The problem is going to be our stamina is about the tank. Do I dare move onto the grass and then phase door and hope we go inside? I think I have to. I think that's better than going south and then trying to go west again. So do that. Oh, we're downed. Downed and bit again. All right, come on. Put me inside, please. Inside. West. Well, we made it inside! <laughs> Alright, those zombies to the south can't see me. And it's going to take a little bit of time for my, my scent cloud to pop over there. Do I stand still and bandage? Drop gear so I'm underweight? We're not free yet. Not As long as I got zero stamina and I'm overweight, we are nowhere near free. <laughs> Uh, I think I agree. I need to drop stuff. So we're going to drop all the books. Get rid of these books. All the books go away. <laughs> Shocker zombie spotted. Alright. Still 20 pounds overweight because of our strength too. We're going to crash here pretty soon. We're going to have an adrenaline crash. Anything else I drop that's got any real weight to it? I, I don't think so. It's not really going to make a difference at this point. Alright, I need to get some bandages on. Let's get bandage there. You zombies are not supposed to know I'm here, damn it. What a bunch of bullcrap. 
<laughs> they can't see me. That's bullcrap. All right, now I'm kind of annoyed. I are annoyed. Because that is total bullcrap. They are not supposed to know that I'm here. I didn't even get a single bandage off. Come on, bandages. Get that bleeding stopped before I have to do anything really crazy. All right, bandages are out. We're still going to adrenaline crash any time now. Our pain, or our... Whoa, our pain is gone? How the hell is my pain gone? I am really confused. Is the adrenaline hiding my pain? I think the adrenaline's hiding my pain. Cure Light will help, but I'm, I don't want to do it if I don't absolutely have to, because I need the mana. Um, but now we're, we're back above weight again. So I just need to get my stamina back and we'll survive this. I need to get to a position where I'm not going to get caught or, uh, they're not going to come upon me while I am under the adrenaline crash. I'm still going to back off. We're going to hang out in the center of the room here. Actually, there's a back room. Yeah, let's go to the back room. Please don't be any zombies in the back room. Not the bathrooms. The back room. Alright. This is where I want to be. 